Hey there, I was just watching one of Wicked Cool's, uh, or otherwise known as Davy Wavy, his videos about Provincetown's dick dock. Just reminds me of some elements to the gay community that I've never understood. I don't understand how people can feel comfortable completely turning off who they are for, like, group sex. I don't, I don't get the group sex thing. I understand leather workshops where, yeah, there's a lot of people there, but it's not generally a bunch of people in mostly darkness being all sexual together. I don't understand that. It, it, to me, that turns people into an anonymous piece of meat. It's like the opposite of intimacy to me. I just can't wrap my mind around that. It's a feeling like I could be replaced with someone else and no one would know the difference. That kind of thing. You know, it's, it's, it's the opposite, completely the opposite of feeling special in any way. I don't know about you, but I, I, if there's someone that I want to be with, I'm hoping that I am special to them because I think they're special to me. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always been just kind of creepy to me. It's dehumanizing, but that's my view. And I, I guess I'm more traditional in that way. And another thing about when there are gatherings of people that are this way, I'm sorry, but, but generally over half the people at those things are HIV positive. In the gay community, or at least in parts of it, I can't say how big of parts because I don't know how big this mindset is, but there's this thing of, uh, well, how dare you have any reluctancy to, to be with someone who's HIV positive? It's like it's it's discrimination it's prejudice it's and i'm like well yeah there 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 is that i don't i don't want hiv i don't want aids so yeah i'm i'm going to be i'm going to have reservations about being with someone who's hiv positive i'm sorry some people make that out oh you're a bad person for that no i i just i'm trying to have self preservation is what that's about and people will go, well, well, that makes me feel like I'm dirty for having HIV. And it's like, well, sorry, it, you know, nothing I can do about that. Uh, I don't want HIV. and I don't want to take chances that are unnecessary. I know that just about anyone that I could be with, there's a chance they could have it and not even know it. But when there's someone who actually knows that they have it, I, yeah, I, I don't get that sort of thing. And, and so you, you find this mindset a lot at these group sex things. And the way that it's, I'm sorry, I just find it incredibly creepy. I'll leave a link to the video in question. I find it incredibly creepy when someone compares that kind of group sex experience with, oh, it's so spiritual. It's, it fulfills all this uh, woo stuff. And it's just like, that's creepy. That's creepy. I don't get it. I mean, if that's your thing, cool, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know, I'm not going to, I'm certainly not going to say you shouldn't do it or you shouldn't be able to do it or any of that, you know, if that's your thing, do it. But it's not my thing. Now, if we're talking about something where it's, it's never flat out sex, it's just a sensuality thing, it's just touch or something like that, that makes more sense to me. But I haven't found anything like that before. You know, it's always paired with, with the, uh, the, the, the actual sex. And, and that's just like, well, that's... I don't see real intimacy there. I just don't see it. Again, I like to feel like I'm special to the person that I'm with. In, in, at least in some way. To at least where... It's not something where I could be replaced by someone else and they wouldn't really know much different. Or they wouldn't really care, you know? It's just weird to me. That that whole scene is weird. So I, in that regard, you know, there's, there's parts of me that are very traditional. <laughs> you know, when it comes to a relationship, I do tilt towards monogamy, but I am open to having an open relationship. I'm also open to having, you know, where it's a, a triad. And as long as things are, are gone in, you know, very open, you know, it's that's that's fine. But that's still something where 
I couldn't be just replaced with someone else and they wouldn't know the difference. It's, it's not that kind of thing. You know, I'm a person. I'm not just a body. I guess that's how I view it. Maybe it's traditional, but oh well. <laughs>